This is the lock picking lawyer. The lock I have for you today is a full X brand ABC or anti bump cylinder. This was sent to me by Joshua Hoffmeyer. So thank you very much for a really interesting lock. Let me show you why it's so interesting. When I first looked at this lock, I looked at the top of it and I thought, wow, that has a lot of drill protection, but it turns out it only has one anti-drill pin and that's right here in the front of the pin stack. Each of these other holes that's drilled, see three on the right and another two on the left, are trap pins. Now I've dealt with trap pins before, uh, but they've always been instances where a driver pin will fall into a notch in the core. Never with independent trap pins and certainly never five of them. So if we look at this, we can see that if you pick clockwise, we're going to deal with three trap pins. And if we pick counterclockwise, we have to deal with two. So that's probably what we're gonna do for this video. Now this lock came to me without a key and it was such a pain dealing with those tiny little pins always dropping into the, the keyholes that I pinned it up off of this Yale blank. It's a Y1 keyway and works nicely, but you'll see when, uh, when we finally got that, that it's a, that there's some colored lab pins in there and that's why I pinned it up. Okay, so picking counterclockwise, Let's see, number one is nothing out of him, two springy, three springy, four springy, five is springy, and six appears to be our binder, got a click out of him. Okay, I hit five two, pulling back. I think I got something out of him. Going back to one, nothing from him. Oh yeah, two's our binder now. Okay, got a click out of him. Okay, that was three and the lock is picked. Now if I turn this any further, those trap pins are gonna drop down. So let me do that now. And I just heard the pins go down and we can't unlock it and we can't even lock it anymore. It is trapped. So let's go deal with those two trap pins. Okay, I'm on the one on number five now. I think I got him. And the one on number six, I'm manually counter rotating because he wasn't moving, but we got it open. Okay, that looked easy. Let me tell you, the first couple times I did it, it was not. And when you pick it the other way with three, it is considerably harder. So let me take this apart and show you everything inside of this lock. Okay, let's get this clip off the back. Okay, got the clip off and, hmm. Okay, I think we need to flip this core around the other direction to, to make sure I don't accidentally drop something. Okay, I think that'll be better for the gutting process. Okay, here's hoping. Okay, that worked out nicely. Let me drop these key pins out. These are the key pins I put in. And they are colored because they're from a, a lab kit. Okay, nothing particularly noteworthy there. And, okay, let's start pulling these pins out. Okay, the trap pin just flew up. There we go, put the trap pin in there. Two. By the way, these are all standard driver pins and, okay.
And these trap pins, you'll see them in a moment, but they're all these just tiny little spools. Okay, and let me actually give you a zoom in on the core here so you can see in one of the trap pin setups. I don't, you can't see them all because they're mostly in the back of the core, but we have the main spring and then a smaller hole with little tiny spring in it. Okay, let me give you a zoom in on all the pins from this Full X anti bump cylinder. Okay, as you can see, all the main pins are standard, but the real show here are those tiny little spools that are in the trap pin setups, five of them. Uh, if you're not expecting to deal with them, they will be a real pain in the butt for you. If you are expecting to deal with them, they'll take you some extra time, but they can be picked. If you have any questions or comments, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe. And as always, have a nice day. Thank you.